Oh no, that's um just popping in on in on on to give you a little bit of technical information after all the palaver last night i'll come to that later when things are quiet i'm just waiting for my son to visit now um bring me some water because i won't use the jugs here um having seen a lady passing urine in one even though they're sterilized i just can't i can't <laughs> so i'm using my um just getting a bottle of water and using that. Anyway, I'll come on to tell you. I've just been informed of what the fractures are in my back. So, the broken bones in my back are T3, T5, T10, L2, 3, 4 and 5 with um, the fracture particularly severe in L3 so there's seven broken bones in my back um, I thought there was five or six there's seven um, and as I said before the, the vertebrae plasty can't be done now because um, past some of the bones have, have compressed so it's going to be the kyphoplasty where they insert the balloon cement into the balloon and uh, very clever stuff so that i don't think they're going to be doing it all they're going to do the t the t3 t5 t10 so that's three they're going to do i'm not sure whether they're going to do l2 3 4 and 5 i'm not sure whether that's going to need somebody more specialized to do that and I'm going to have to come in at a later date so I know that T3, T5 and T10 are going to be done I also thought T12 um, I've got a question mark over that because I was told that T12 was also broken if it is that will mean T3, T5, T10, T12 L2, L3, L4 or L5 um, and particularly severe in L3 so that's why I've been in so much pain and um, you can see it starts from here between my shoulder blades right down to my tailbone particularly severe round about here and round about here but um, not even sure whether you've seen that but um, it, it explains a lot doesn't it seven or eight broken bones in my back and my problem is as I was saying I do have a very high tolerance for pain um, as has been proven in the past with the hips when I simply had the epidural and I was up the days after and yeah I was in pain but I was determined to get out as fast as possible and I knew that the only way to do that was by walking um, and also particularly when I had a stomach ulcer I was in agony for months agony to the point where my son had to have my dog um, and I spent most of the day flat on my back in my sitting room um, and in fact on the second floor my son's put a little kitchenette part at the back of the big city Part play room I use as a sitting room put like a little kitchenette sort of thing there with a, a small fridge and um, one of those automatic things, kettle things um, so I had that and I had a bathroom up and I had my own bedroom and my own suite so you know that would cater for me um, and as I say my weight went down to uh, five five and a half stone I was in a lot a lot of pain and uh, for months on end so anyway that's the situation with me it's written in the book by the consultant surgeon um, kyphoplasty not T12 
to be cancelled, not to be rearranged. So it's going ahead on Thursday. Um, and as I say, I will stay here till it's done, despite the rudeness of some of the staff and despite yelling at me at the end of my bed and in the corridor where there are other sick patients and all the finger wagging despite all that damn disgusting um anyway i'll be back later hopefully and uh, have a chat then okay god bless everybody bye bye